Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, this video is going to be my September empties. Um, looking relatively full the box this month, but I've got a feeling it's pretty much big packaging rather than a large amount of product. I'm going to jump right in. The first item is Shower Gel by Superdrug. Um, I think this was in my favourites either last month or the month before. Strawberry and Raspberry, really, really nice. Very similar um, in style to the original Source shower gels, but I think these are like 90p or 89p. Um, really nice and lasts really well, so good. Um, the next, oh, we have a Oral-B Complete Care Toothpaste, because we all brush our teeth. <laughs> and we have one of these in every empties I've ever done. And I say that same line in every empties. Um, an original source, original source shower gel. Um, this is the one for men in black pepper and chili. Um, I think John quite liked it. Um, it did take him a while to use it. Oh, Gilly! Gilly's whinging, he's overtired, one second. Sorry about that guys, but puppies want what puppies want. Um, so yes, uh, I don't think he hated it, I don't think he loved it, um, so I don't know if I'll bother buying it again. I think every time I see a new one, I want to get it and try it, um, but we always seem to end up to either go back to the mint or lime. The next item is, oh, another one for John. I'm training him well to use the empties box. Um, this is Clinique Skin Supplies for Men, M-Shave Aloe Gel, um, Cushioning Lather Oil-Free Gel. Yeah, it's Clinique for shaving. Boys. Smells good though, it does. I do think sometimes Clinique men's products are a little bit overpriced because boys don't really use products like we use products, but the Clinique stuff does make your man smell yummy. Um, the next product, oh, we have another toothpaste, a Colgate Advanced White, um, and then we have, oh, we have another happy, sh we have another shower gel. This is by Lush, um, Happy Hippie. It took me a very long time to, to use this because um, I am allergic to oranges and this is actually grapefruit but citrus smell can sometimes give me a really bad headache um, and I found if I use this like two days in a row I'd have a headache but if I like use this and maybe left a couple of days and then used it I was fine because I did like, enjoy it but I don't think I'd buy it again. I don't think I even bought that, I thought that came in a gift set. The next item, this is... Um, be Clean United Colours of Benetton Relax Shampoo. Um, I don't particularly like the smell of this. It's it's very masculine and obviously John ended up using it and you know he he obviously used it. It wasn't again, it's not a bad shampoo, it's a good product, I just don't like the smell. But John did, so it was okay. This was definitely in a favourite either last month or the month before. Garnier Fructus. I think I picked this up in a pound shop somewhere. Mm, you can only just, only just smell it. I love the smell of all Garnier hair products. They all smell amazing to me. Um, for its colour care, I wouldn't really score it that high, but it does smell really nice. So I'd probably purchase it again. Um, and what's next? The next product, oh, is um, an Olay cream Olay Regenerous Wrinkle Relaxing Complex. Um, I'm not sure if it relaxed my complex wrinkles. Um, I don't particularly have a lot, I don't think. It's one of those creams, again, it seemed really heavy actually. When you first got it out and it was like, oh, but it absorbed really nicely. So it was a nice product. Um, I quite enjoyed it to be honest, but I don't know if it did what it said on the tin. Um, and the last item is um, MUA Kiss Proof Lip Stain, and the shade is Fabulicious. Um, hmm, see, it's one of these felt tip lip stain pens. Now, I think I couldn't have put the lid back on properly because I got two of these exactly at the same time, 
I've probably used them the equal amount. The other one still has a lot of colour left in it. This one is dead, but it's dry. So I think I didn't put the lid on and it's properly and it's dried out. Okay, well that is all my empties for this month. Um, I hope you find empties interesting. I like in, in, I like watching empties, but obviously I'm a nosy person. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of good to see what other people think. And then obviously you see the little mini reviews that you kind of get with them. If there's anything you love that I've shown, anything you hate that I've shown, please let me know down below. Um, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.